Well, hello and uh, welcome again to Edison Light Globe's video. Today um, we were building a, one of these uh, plumbing pipe lights, and um, I thought I might explain one of the parts of uh, this light uh, made out of plumbing pipe uh, to describe what is reasonably reasonably unusual for us to be doing, but we're bending um, some components here. So. Essentially why we did that was because initially we uh, were making this with uh, plumbing pipe bends, which are these uh, sweeping bends which were uh, quite elegant uh, in the design. And then we thought because we needed to carry a bit of weight, we might continue to sweep and uh, create these swept uh, support structures which stop the bar from bending, uh, vibrating, whatever it is under weight. And the reason we wanted to do that, I'll explain, is because we wanted to use these very large holophane shades. Now, each of these connects via a, a gallery. Oh, I can't hold them. But each one of these weighs about two and a half, nearly two and a half kilos. And so we thought that uh, a two kilo weight at either end of a plumbing pipe might cause a little bit of sway and a little bit of bend and even though it would still hold the weight, probably better to add these stays. Now, in keeping with um, our tradition at uh, Edison Light Globes, uh, these, this was a product that uh, was conceived in, um, on paper and then we left it up to Dave to actually work out how to do it. We had a few ideas, but bending something accurately, not only once, but exactly the same twice, proved to be extremely difficult. So what we did was, got Dave onto it, and Dave worked out a way to bend the solid bar and thread the ends so that it would connect and hold the weight of this cross-section bar. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cross to Dave, we're gonna go through the process of how these bars are created. So the first thing we're going to do is um, cut the, uh, the bar exactly the right length. Keep going. And then um, get the right length, which is the right one. It's, it's in half. So it's in half. half. Oh, it's exactly right. So then all we're going to do is just clean up the edge. So we just take off the burrs. And then um, where are we going? Going through here and we're uh, put on the bender. I don't know, measure right. Oh, this is the pattern, yeah? Yep. So this is our pattern. We are 378 by 122 to match our, uh, the shape of our pipe. So first thing is... Um, mark it out. Mark it out. There we go. Okay. Mm, 16. And these are bend points, yeah? Yep. So, uh, you know, when you when you bend it, you'll know where to put the, uh, the bender. And you've got a special little thing here. Bend it. Through trial and error. First bend, 175, yeah. second bend, 510. So not, it's not simple, it's a reasonably complicated bending procedure. A little bit like making an exhaust pipe, yeah? Yeah, like this bender. So, nice. and this is uh, essentially a bender that's made for a right uh, automotive use, yeah. for bending um, roll cages and that sort of thing. 
I've got a rubbish bin anyway. Yeah. So we put the pipe in and that pushes up in the middle, right on the mark there. Yeah. Hopefully. And it should, if we take a look, that should give us a perfect arc. How far do we take it to 90 degrees? Gotta get that that on it. Because there's no oh, right. stop. There's no it? stop. So we're gonna take it right to the top. It's gonna get us close. So we've got a, a rough 90 degree arc. Oh, check the square. Check the square. Little bit under. A little bit under. So I'm just going to pull it around. Just take a little bit out of that bend. Or put a bit more into put it. A bit more. Put a bit more in. So then we can get it back on the square. A little bit more. A little bit more. I normally like to go over. Yeah, so we can pull it back when yeah. it's going in. That'll do. Okay, that's the first arc. Now I would imagine the second arc we've got to line up parallel with the other one. Yeah, this has to face and up. Put it on your other, other mark. See that mark hopefully touching the center of that. What do you call that bit in the middle? Push. An anvil? An anvil. Something like that? Yeah, I don't know. It's got a big bent down. Should I line that up straight? Yep. Bending in the opposite direction. That looks right. Pretty straight. Let's check it for uh, a square. Ooh, That's more away. like. That's a bit over. <laughs> That's what they do. They want to go too far. Machine, so. Yeah. So get it flat. Now we have a look at it on the on the light. That's our um, upside down measurement. <laughs> <laughs> upside down to you. Yeah. 
So we're lining you. these up with the centre of the pipe, yeah? Yeah. In both sides. Yeah. It's pretty good. Pretty good. So that will go if we force it. And then what we do is mark it somewhere. And this is going to go inside the pipe, so we can yep. just mark it. And that's where I'm going to thread it. Yep, so I'm going to thread it to there. Beautiful. So you're just going to cut those off, yeah? Yep. Right on. Just want to mark it for size. So now, it's been cut, trimmed to the dimensions, and so we can ask the, the question, why didn't you cut it to the right length in the first place? Because uh, it won't reach across the, the two rollers. Oh, rollers. you've got to be able to have something to actually push the Yeah, and if it's bender. too short, it can be really dangerous if it flings out. Yeah, you don't want it to twang out, okay. No. Well, that was a pretty simple uh, answer. <laughs> so now what we're doing, we're just marking um, the thread line. And this is... Uh, we need to put a thread on this because it needs to attach to the plumbing pipe. So we've got a nut and a, and a fitting and um, another nut and a washer and they've all got to be threaded hard and tightened, I would imagine, to take the stress of the weight that we're going to put on it. Is that right? Yep. That's in theory. That's getting a bit technical for a plumbing pipe light, but there it is. Um, what have we got? Some paste. Yeah, Ugh, I cutting hate this. Compound. It goes everywhere. C cutting compound. And uh, our, um, what do you call it? Die. Die. Our die. Go for it. And what size is that? Half inch? Uh, M10. M10. By one. I was close. It's a 10 mil bar. Because it's a 10 mil bar. And we chose a 10 mil bar because we had an M10 die. <laughs> <laughs> or were we just lucky? No, it just fits. <laughs> it just fits. All right. There you go. This is your exercise um, for the moment because it is a cold day, isn't it? It is for good for a cold day. It's a good job for a cold day. You've got to get that exactly down, thread it to that uh, marker, yeah? Yeah. All right, just chuck it down there. And there we have it. Our M10 thread. You want enough to test it? Yeah. Have you got that, this bit? Yeah, I'll get that out. Uh, I'll just clean that off. What are you looking for? Take it down. Oh, I'll just put it over here. We need to clean it up. Have oh, you got it? Here you got it. Sorry about that. That's right. So the first thing to go on is the nut, and this just holds one side. Is that right? And we've got another nut on the inside of the plumbing pipe part. Have you got that? So what we need is a couple of these parts, a plumbing pipe part, a washer, a, um, I never remember these. What's that? Star washer. Star washer. Just so that it doesn't come undone after we've done it up. Actually, I probably do it. So, this on that one? Oh, we'll do it. We'll do it on do that one. So the first is the nut again. Let's hold that up straight. In. And then, a, a, what's that? A red washer, a fiber washer. Fiber washer. Then a plumbing pipe. What is that? That's a compression fitting. Yep. And a star washer, compression and a washer. Modified nut. And then a modified nut. Yeah. What's it got? A bit of a taper on it. Well, it's... Let's have a look. Just got a 
be able to go inside there, yeah? Yeah. So just take it's, the edge off. It's... it's actually about... About right. So now, this is the other end. We've put both ends on, yeah? Yep. Okay, and now we uh, mm. get that up roughly tight, but not too tight, is that right? Yeah. Because we've got to tighten down on it. It's I'm going to spin the other one. This is this one, we don't want it to spin. Yeah. I'm going to get it reasonably right. Okay. Okay. Under pressure now. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. This is the design, yeah? Okay. So now we're about to try to put the, the bent threaded bar firstly into one end and then into the top. And if the bend is right, it should go in perfectly, yeah? That's the idea. That's the idea. So we tighten that with a, a spanner. Put all your stuff away, did you? Stops this. Stops it rattling. Because it will hold it tight against the other nut that's on the inside, yeah? That's it. And if we need to, we could pull that up tighter and tighter and tighter to put a bit more stress on that bar. But it tends to be when we put them together, they tighten up okay. Okay. And that's it. Finished, yeah? Yeah, last thing is a bit of oil. A bit of oil to treat it. Oh, it's because it's bare steel. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so there we have it. Our, our completed um, braced plumbing pipe. I think this is a, for a billiard table, but it might not be used over a billiard table. It could be used over any internal or interior table. Now we would, uh, obviously we would attach these galleries on this occasion, they're um, nickel. So we would attach these galleries and to the galleries we will attach the shades but obviously that'll be done after the job's been installed we won't put those on now but uh there it is we also got a uh oops this is the um our handy mount or ceiling mount ceiling canopy and this will have to be threaded through the wiring and screwed on this is obviously a very short one the customer wanted a very short so it's not a, not a tall ceiling, but uh, that's okay. We make those to the size that you ask. Anyway, there it is. That's our uh, braced plumbing pipe uh, billiard table light. Um, made to carry big shades, heavy shades, um, and either, I think we do one of these for outdoors as well, but uh, this one's an indoor light. Um, if you have any questions, if you're thinking you might want to make one of these yourself or you want to try a little bit of bent pipe or you've got some ideas for a design, let us know. Contact us through the website. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching and um, we'll hopefully see you again soon when it, when it warms up a little bit.